Hi everyone! Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be here with you today because after a break of about a year and a few months, the Love Approach Project podcast is back! And so episode 63 is just out now. Now, this new season, season 3, it's all about bringing you practical info that you can use in your everyday life to help you create life in your own terms. And this episode in particular is all about moving from busy and overwhelmed to feeling and being focused and on purpose. So if you have been feeling like that, go and check this episode out. It's just there, right there for you. And it's short, actually. So I'm moving from longer episodes to shorter, more practical episodes. I really hope you enjoy this season and you get a lot out of it. And if you do, I would love to hear from you. Welcome, welcome once again to the Love Approach Project Podcast. This is your host, Laura Gutierrez, and I am super pleased <laughs> to be here with you again. It's been a while. It's been, I think, over a year since I last posted, well, the last episode of season two. And so we are beginning season three today, and I thank you for joining me here today joining this conversation that is so important for all of us. And so I thought, let's begin today. Just wherever you are, don't close your eyes if you're driving (laughs) or using machinery, but wherever you are, just take a moment to take a deep breath in and out through your nose. Breathing in and out. And let's do that one more, one more time. Okay, let's do it one more, and that's it. Beautiful, and now that we are all here together, well, once again, welcome. And I want to begin this first episode by talking about something that is crucial or that is very important for all of us and that I've seen coming up already, even though the year has only just started. Okay, so this is all about being busy and the idea that being busy is the best way to get things done and to actually feel good about yourself. Isn't it interesting? Well, that idea, that belief obviously came came from somewhere. We just didn't come up with that. We were taught maybe by our parents, caretakers, um, school, etc. That being busy was actually a symbol or a sign of productivity. In fact, we also um, felt perhaps or learned that having a very long to-do list was a way of feeling very important. And I actually have seen many people basically filling up their, their days with lots of things because this gives them meaning. This, gives, this makes them feel good. However, on the other side, there's the overwhelm that comes with a long to-do list, with being very busy because when you don't know where to start, when you don't know how to how to prioritize, a long to-do list feels overwhelming. Perhaps this is the way that you have felt, or perhaps you know someone who has felt or feels like that. And so when it comes to this topic of being busy, one of the most important things to talk about is time. So successful people, actually consider time as their most valuable asset and they really look after it really take care of it for example if i asked you or if i said to you that tomorrow you are going on a holiday to the place that you have always wanted to go but in order to get there you have to be at the airport at 4 a.m in the morning you would get up very early no questions asked, right? Now, this is very interesting because in a way, we always find time for what we want. And so perhaps the question is not about being busy. Perhaps the question or the issue is about not knowing how to prioritize, how to know what's important or where to start first, right? And so you might be asking, well, so, Yeah, so how do we do that? (laughs) And that's right. So 
I would like to bring in here now the, the concept of energy and of what you focus on is where your energy goes. Basically, where your attention goes, energy goes. And so if you're focusing on the overwhelm of a long to-do list, of many things to do, of I don't know where to start, or life is too hectic, then your energy is going to do the same. It's going to be erratic. It's going to be disorganized and you won't be able to focus on something. So the first thing to do is to start focusing, is learning to prioritize. So one of the things that you can do is to start with what matters the most. Now, I would love to offer here a suggestion. What if what matters the most is you? Because when you fill up your cup, when you give energy to yourself, when you look after your needs, then you are able to give more to others, to do your job, to be with your family, to, you know, to attend to all those different things that you have in that list, in that to-do list. And so what if you could start with that? Now let's look at the day of a, of a productive person or a person that has, let's say, a, a nine to five job. So usually, um, let's say maybe you would have um, eight hours of sleep and an eight hours work. So that's already 16 hours. And let's say that you um, commute maybe one hour there, one hour back home. So that's two more hours. So that's 18 hours. So that leaves you uh, six hours left, right? But you'll still have to maybe pick uh, kids up from school or take them somewhere. And if you don't have kids, maybe you, you want to go to, uh, I don't know, to go and to do something for you or you need to do the grocery shopping or stuff like that. So, and cook and eat, right? So let's add maybe, what, three more hours to that. So that would be 18, 19, 20, 21 hours, which leaves you with three hours. Let's say that you have, let's add another extra hour there just to cover a few bits and pieces here and there. That leaves you with two hours left, 120 minutes to decide what to do with that time. Now, this is this is when the importance of knowing how to use that time comes in. So it's not that you don't have time, it's that you, you do have time, maybe not lots of time, but you do have at least, let's say, two hours a day, 120 minutes. So let's just start focusing on what matters the most, as I was suggesting before. And what if you are the most important thing? So what if you could start by dedicating some of those 120 minutes to you? One of the things that I personally love to do is to get up and do something for me. So in my in, right now, I love variety, so I change my morning routine quite a lot. But right now I'm doing breathing exercises. I'm doing breath work and I'm also doing a little bit of um, prayer meditation. And so that's what I do first thing. And it takes me around, in my case, it takes me 15 minutes to half an hour, depending on what I'm doing. But what if you decide to maybe spend only 10 minutes? So that would be 10 minutes out of 120. That leaves you 110 minutes to choose. So if you dedicate those 10 minutes, 15 minutes at the beginning of the day, you're already filling up your cup. You're already feeling good about yourself. You're already strengthening the muscle of self-trust. You know, so you're already feeling great and that gives you a good start. After that, my suggestion is that you focus on what's first. What is the thing that perhaps you need to complete first? Now, remember that the journey of a thousand miles, as Lao Tzu said, starts with one step. So you cannot do everything at the same time. You cannot work on everything at the same time and multitask. You can do one thing at a time. So what is that thing that you're going to focus on? And maybe that's where your energy is better used. And when you use your energy resourcefully, intentionally, you feel better. Your day feels better, you feel productive. And in fact, you are being productive. And you actually feel like the day had purpose, had meaning, you feel great. And then it's a knock-on effect that basically creates better days to come. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so, okay, you have in here two options and one is to continue on the practice, let's say, or on the habit of being busy, overwhelmed, long to-do list, not knowing what to do with your energy, not knowing how to focus, how to prioritize. 
and then continue experiencing some of the let's say the the feelings of discomfort of um, disappointment of regret that using your energy and your time like that bring or you can choose to focus your energy on what matters most and I suggest this is you first and then on what needs to be completed first now if this sounds like a good idea I would love to invite you to do it to put this into practice tomorrow or today Make, make sure that you count the hours in your day, see how many hours and minutes, actually, it helps to do it in minutes, you have left in your day, being generous with the other activities that you have. And no matter how much you have left, how many minutes, how much time you have left in your day, choose how you're going to focus your energy with that time or in that time. Okay, well, I hope this is helpful for you. I hope this has served you. If you know of someone that would benefit from listening to this or watching this video or listening to this podcast, please share it with them. You know, it's it's by sharing that we care, you know, and that we can support each other, which is basically what we came here to do to this world. Okay, so this is it for now. Thank you for being here again. Thank you for joining me again in this uh, season three of this podcast. Really appreciate you. If you like this podcast and this content, please, um, well, give us a review or share us with other people. As I was saying, that's the best way to, to spread the message. Mwah! Big kiss, lots of love, big hug, and I shall see you in the next episode. Mwah! Bye for now. Bye-bye.